Hello viewers, welcome to KBOX TV and it's another episode of the Total Boxing Show where we discuss boxing, what's happening in the world of boxing and everything I need to know in the world of boxing. Today, we're talking about a very big event coming on on Saturday night between Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko. Guys, I have my regular panel on the show, um, Daniel Soa and Kujo Amedoda. Guys, welcome to KBOX TV. Thank you, Kujo. Um, today, um, we're discussing the very big show which is happening um, this weekend, which is um, Chiofimo Lopez versus Basilio Lomachenko. Thank you very much, Kofi. Uh, fight that we've all been yearning and uh, uh, like yearning with eager to see, you know, because um, it was supposed to come on in April, but because of the COVID 19, um, we got postponed. But guess what? Finally, a very long it's going, to, it's going to be here or is here with us on Saturday night. And also, on our, you can just jump to three K Box TV. And then like and follow and then uh, you know share. Anytime that we we discuss total boxing show or boxing total boxing show, and this is the regular face that you see on Thursday. So Daniel Sula, Kujo Medo, and myself. Guys, before we jump into it, yeah, I would like for you guys to have a feel of what we're about to discuss. So uh, first, let me just play this one. He says you're a diva. He says you're on your way out. Do you think that he believes that? Пора, наверное, его во дворе не научили, что за языком нужно следить и такие вещи, когда ты говоришь, за них нужно будет отвечать. Ты не можешь просто так взять и сказать и обозвать человека просто потому, что он тебе не нравится. Do you want to beat him or do you want to hurt him? Я хочу сначала я хочу выиграть этот поединок. Но если у меня будет шанс сделать неприятно, does he know what he's in for? I don't know do he knows what he's in for. I don't know 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 what see guys it's a war i say it's a war because it is everything that's hyped up emotions hyped up uh, and everything hyped up to this particular time uh, so uh, how do you feel about this big fight coming to us on um saturday night uh, I, I feel great um uh, you know it's been a while um after the covid it's been a while we had a pay-per-view fight uh, uh, when you look at um, a fight like this with uh, Lopez and uh, Lomachenko coming together to give the fans uh, this kind of a fight, it's, 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 a very, it's a very good fight for the fans and it's going to bring uh, pay-per-view back because, you know, uh, at the end we were talking about the fact that um, a pay-per-view like this is coming back. Uh, Moscow and Lera too said the same thing. So, we definitely, it's, it's, and apart from the pay-per-view, it's so we know Loma is a very good fighter. We know what Lopez, what Lopez can also do. So having to having these two guys to uh, put up a fight like this in uh, this COVID time, it's, it's a blessing to the fans of boxing. Great, great. It's definitely a blessing to the fans of boxing. And my daughter, uh, Lopez has been talking trash a lot in this fight, on the board of this fight. Uh, he's called Loma Tonko a diva. He says he's a diva. Loma Tonko, let me hear what you have to say about, about, about this thing. This uh, uh, Lopez has been engaging in all this while for the fight. Oh, well, uh, Kofi, good evening, our viewers, anyway. Uh, Kofi, uh, I'm not that much surprised that Lomez, Lopez can come uh, uh, this far anyway, but it's surprising me. I'm not surprised, but it's surprising me. You know why? No, tell us. Lopez, Lopez called Lomachenko years back. Okay, Lopez, he called Lomachenko years back to fight him, and he said he will beat him. Years back. Okay. But uh, Lomachenko brush it off with the saying that, hey, nobody know you. You don't have any title. 
go and get out uh, and come and fight me. So I don't know where the bad blood is coming from. Mm. And then now, uh, uh, Lopez called a bluff. Teofimo called a bluff and then got the title. And then now uh, he's talking more. I don't know <laughs> what is gingering him to continue like that. <laughs> but in fact, this fight, <laughs> this fight is something else. There's this a whole lot to this fight. Yeah, this fight, I, I so I so agree that this fight is something else. It's it's uh, that, yeah. that um, yeah. I hope we do not lose our eyes of political interpretation because we seem to be hyped to this level. You know, doesn't give us what we want. Uh, but for you, uh, all this trash talk that um, Lopez have been engaging in all this while, you know, and um, to, to film, like, sorry, uh, Lomachenko saying that uh, when, when I interview. He said, I mean, after all this trash talk, and then you have an opportunity for you to also talk trash in return, but it's the Nima and everything cool, and you know, just referring to the fact that everything is going to happen in the ring. What do you say to the way um, the Lomachenko was? Can you hear me, uh, Sowa? Yeah, Govi, I can hear you. Yeah, um, so I think with the way Luma, the way Luma is um, concentrating on the fight, I think it, it, it's the best thing to do because mm -hmm. you are coming to fight a younger guy who who is talking trash. He feels he's already won the fight and all that. And um, mentally, Lopez feels um, he's way ahead of. Uh, it's where I heard of Loma. So if I was Loma, I would have, I would be doing the same thing. I wouldn't be trash talking. I'd rather think of how um, I can I can beat I can beat Lopez. And it clearly tells you that um, in Loman said he feels he might lose a fight because when he was asked if he's going to uh, punish him, he said all he's thinking about is just winning the fight. Which in a way. If um, I don't know if it's if it's mind game as well, because if I'm Lopez and I'm listening to this, or I'm hearing um, this from um, I'm hearing this from Loma, I'll feel like yeah. Then mentally, I've won the fight because he himself he feels he can't punish me. He feels what he needs to work on is to win the fight. And I don't think with this fight, it's just about winning the fight. It's about punishment because um, the hatred between these two guys. All the Loma is not talking. You can feel the hatred between them. Right. And Lopez has made it so clear that he doesn't like Loma. He has respected him too many times. And, well, everybody will be expecting Loma to say, I'm going to beat him, I'm going to punish him, I'm going to do this. But uh, Lome said, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like... Um, it doesn't look like uh, he can win the fight completely. It feels uh, Lopez is going to beat him, so he must just work on how to win the fight. Which, in a way, I think... I think it's strong, but if it's mind game too, it's perfect to make uh, Lopez think um, he's way ahead of him. The later you take him by surprise. All right. Um, now these two guys. Let's let, let's look at these two guys. Let's look at their age. Right. One is three, and the other person is twenty-three, or well, just the reverse to give the the other person. Right. And uh, statistically, this has something happened. They both have fifteen fights. Uh, Lopez has lost one. And won all 14, right? And then this is an undefeated fighter coming in as an IBF World uh, title uh, champion, having win or having won all his 15 fights. Now, Amedoda, look at these guys age wise 32, 23, 15 wins, 14 wins, 100. These things, this, this numbers, all right? What, what, what do these numbers mean as we enter to we enter Saturday, Saturday's fight? Um, these numbers, I can easily say, this numbers match doesn't mean anything apart from the age of Lomachenko. Okay. The numbers doesn't mean anything because the uh, 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 the this thing, uh, 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 the numbers that they have on their uh, uh, boxing list, Lomachenko followers are saying that he spent much time. With uh, 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 what should I say? Amateur, amateur boxing. That is why he came in later on and then before. But this guy spent less time in amateur, and then he came in with boxing. Okay, okay. came in with a uh, uh, professional. 
that is uh, the numbers on their uh, fight uh, fight list and then the age i am a bit worried about lomachenko maybe even though that age that is the uh, 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 the, the latest uh, the later part of uh, 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 sports age right okay 32 years that's the later part of sports age if you are beyond if you are around 32 i believe you can do what you can do in sports but beyond uh, 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 32 33 34 that means you are veteran that is one thing uh, but in this case uh -huh. we are we are we are depending on uh one thing the size the size is yeah the size yeah the size is the differentiation the, the difference now that is all we will talk about is um, all about the size the numbers doesn't mean anything all right guys um uh, so i'd like to also get your prediction on this fight um lomachenko or vasily lomachenko will be facing to female Lopez on saturday night for the wba wbo um and then the ibf world title. don't forget that the wbc franchise title that um uh, is being held by uh, by Lomachenko will also be on the line, even though they haven't added it to the, to the title. But if he loses the title, he's going to lose that uh, that title as a franchise, uh, the, the WBC franchise champion. So, guys, if you watch, I want to get your opinion on who you think is going to carry the title. Holding the, sorry, the WBO and then the WBA world title, or it will be the uh, to be Stefano Lopez, who has the idea here, guys. Okay, now, now, now let me jump back to you, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Soa. Lopez has been in the US preparing for this fight with his father or with his dad, which is the same situation also with um, uh, Lomachenko. Even before he moved, even before he, he came to the uh, US, he was with his dad training very hard in Spain, and then he came to. Work. What is the father effect? going to cause on this on this on this fight because they are both being trained by their fathers one has trained one to become a world champion and the other has also done with not just one but other uh, champions i mean um uh Lomachenko's dad has worked with uh, Yusik and then also with Kate, um, um, Lomachenko looking at Lopez was nothing and then to make him a world champion what is the father effect going to have on this fight? Uh, the father, the, for the father effect, uh, it's, it's really going to help both uh, both boxers. Cause you know, right now the sport, when you look at um, uh, boxers like um, uh, Tyson Fury, you saw what the dad was able to do um, for him after having these mental problems and all that. So clearly, the uh, the fathers being trainers as well, they want the best for their children and. They are going to do all they can, all they can to make sure that um, their their children um, win this fight. Because you know, this this is a very big fight. When you look at their record, they don't have that. Um, they've not been that pro for a long time. But this looks like uh, the make pack, the make pack fight. Mm -hmm. You can classify it as a make pack fight. But mm -hmm. everything, everything is a stick. Right. Everything is at stake. Legacies are at stake because people feel Loma has not been that kind of Loma doesn't deserve that kind of attention he's, he's enjoying today. And we all we all think that now uh Lopez also came in with that um uh, young spirit bit um which is coming to win the IBF title and throughout throughout his career before getting a, a world title shot, he feels he's the best. Although he has not even gotten the world title shot, he, he always thought he was the best, and Loma doesn't deserve that kind of praise. So, you see, there's something that uh, I don't know really, the their fathers know what is going to happen if one should lose. Their fathers don't really understand what is happening. And the interesting thing is Lopez is that day that he doesn't see his kid losing this fight. In fact, if he loses this fight, he's going to be that as a coach. <laughs> uh, exactly. None, none of the fathers. Easy. Kofi, this, this fight, when, when you lose it, at the 135, there's a serious competition there. So when you lose it, for you to get a world title shot again, it's going to take a long time. I agree. It's going to take a long time. And you see, 
these two bosses two are coming from the same um, uh, the same camp, which is uh, top rank. Right. So top rank, in a way, needs one boxer that you will use for the one uh, one thirty five. So their fathers, their fathers understand all this. They understand all these things at stake. And after winning this fight, your next fight, I tell you, if you don't make ten million dollars, then it's not you are not in the sport of boxing because this is a very huge fight. Like it's a very very big fight. Pay per view, pay per view, it can gross more than twenty million dollars uh, pay per view. So if I'm the father and I know this is an opportunity to make some good money, and I'm training my son as well. You know, Kofi, I'll make sure I do all I can to make sure my family. Right, right. This is definitely if you're done training, either Lopez or Lomachenko, you're going to do everything possible to win what's happening. But this one. But uh, no, it's it for me. It's just words. And uh, Saturday, Saturday, we will see. Have you ever experienced anything like this with any other fighter or any other time in your career? No. Of this level? Of no. But I do that Saturday night. This Saturday night will be a night of <laughs> a night of differences. Why am I saying that? I said it once already that uh, Teofimo called for Lomachenko long, long time ago, not now. And then uh, Teofimo go back to build himself for this fight. Yeah, Teofimo go back to build himself for this fight. And then anything that he's doing towards the fight is being falling in his line. You understand? Anything right. Teofimo is doing, getting Lomacheco into the ring, totally falling in his line. Even upon COVID, still, everything is falling on his line. Uh, if you... If I can tell you, I'm believing that if Teofimo is not from top rank, Mm. This fight will never come on. That, that, that I agree. That, that oh, yes. very if Teofimo is not from top rank, this fight will never come on. Mm. When was the last time uh, Lomachenko fight? When was the last time? Lomachenko uh, fought against... Uh, uh, yeah, it is not even yeah. now. now. Like, he fought against Campbell uh, in UK. Campbell. And, uh, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. And then... That fight happened, and if Lomachenko is ready to fight any of those young guys over there, he could afford Devin Haney, okay, and still get the chance to fight uh, 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 Teofimo before COVID. You understand? Right. But Top Rank is seeing something from far. To me, Top Rank is seeing something from far, so he don't want to commit his uh, uh, idol cash cow or whatever okay. so you, you to you, the you, land you, of divorce protecting Lomachenko. that is it okay that is it okay. not only top rank some even some boxing organizations including wbc all mm. of them are protecting uh, 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 Lomachenko. i don't know how come mm. okay do you know that uh, uh, wbc came out and said that the wbc title lightweight title is on the line Mm -hmm. How come? Where is WBC lightweight title? It's with Devin Haney. Right. Okay. WBC themselves give the title to Devin Haney. Mm. They gave franchise to Lomachenko. Yes, that on the request from <laughs> yeah, on the request from Lomachenko and Top Rank. Mm. On request from Lomachenko and Top Rank, just to dodge dod Devin Haney. Because mm. they sense that hey, the Vihani fight, anything can happen. Mm. Okay, that is why top rank backed by Bob Aru helped uh, Lomachenko to request that. And then Kofi, if you remember, you and I we talked about this thing before, yeah, far, far before this program started. Yes, yeah, yeah we did. And I was asking you that uh, if WBC have vacated title, 
is there not number one, number two over there? Where from Lomachenko to come and challenge that title with somebody from behind? Right, right, right. I ask that question, and I'm saying that hey, they are doing this just to call Lomachenko on this Peter Lightweight champion. True, true, true. And that thing is working. And the last time that I heard the news that WBC say hey, that title is not for Debbie Honey, it's online. I was like, what? You understand? So if at this Saturday, what will happen? It will be it will be it will be history in boxing. I'm telling you. Boxing. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> you just wrote from my middle that he says what's happening. I've said that this fight is one of the fights that he feels that uh, after it does happen, he talks about very long. And you feel the same. <laughs> Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. We can hear you. I can hear you anyway. Okay, all right. So, so, so I'm saying that um, Barbarum said that he feels like this fight is going to be one of the fights that will go down in history as one of the most talked about fights after it has happened. Do you also feel the same way, way that this fight is going to go down in history, or maybe probably be the fight of the year when after it happens? Uh, yeah, Goofy, uh, this fight, this fight is already a, uh, a fight of the year contender because um, the build up, and the kind of boxes we have, and the situations around the around the fight, everything tells you by all means it will be the fight of the year. Because I don't, I don't know which big fight we are going to see after this. Because uh, most of the most of the big guys will be fighting lower names to prepare for 2021 for a big pay and a big pay per view fight. Now, after the fight, there's going to be a lot of talkings. Because um, first of all, the prediction the prediction of uh, this fight initially, I started um, saying Lopez is going to win by a knockout. But be, right now, I have a change of mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not easy for you to predict. Yeah, what are that prediction? True. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. Any true, any true will tell you, you can't just predict. Like, yes, predict. This, these two guys, anything can happen. And the way Loma has been quiet, and I, I watch his training, the way he's training, you see, Loma, Loma will come in and will fight different. Things. That's what I'm saying, because it will come in and will be throwing a lot of power shots. Mm. And his power punch is what is going to surprise Lopez. Mm. Mm. Because, you see, when bosses are going to fight and you watch their camping, like what they are doing at camp, it tells you the kind of preparation or what they are bringing on board. And I tell you, Loma has been quiet the whole time and he has taken, he has taken a lot of insults from Lopez. A lot. Which anybody, like, because you know, you know, you know in this world, when you are, you are like, you you keep insulting someone, you keep telling someone you're going to beat him, although you are strong, you might end up losing, you might you might end up losing messless, uh, messless. That's right. And that is what I'm seeing from Lopez, because Loma, which to me is worrying. You know, in as much you have to win the mental uh the, the mental battle, I feel it's, it's doing too much. It's doing too much talking. And uh, Lopez, uh, Loma, Loma will end up surprising him. Loma will surprise him because I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, Lopez. But when you look at this fight, Loma, 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 my school, in my school, Lopez. Because I don't know the day, Lopez, what, what, what is his experience as a boxer? What big fight has he been to? And what is the experience with uh, boxers that usually like to go to the distance? Boxers that can really box. A boxer who has a footwork. And this, this, this is Loma. Loma has a footwork. He has, he has that. He has um, an amazing. Um, yeah, he has amazing brains in the ring. He's able to pitch. The only thing Loma doesn't have in the ring is uh, that power punch. It's attacking. It's, it's attacking. is great. Loma is a perfect. Is a perfect fighter. And from the beginning, what Lopez did to Richard Comey, it was like everybody will think, okay, now if. Um, if Lopez should come, he's going to beat Loma. But if I think otherwise, because Loma beat Lucambio. Lucambio is not a small fighter. He's a very good fighter. He has been through a lot. Like he has fought some good names. So he has a... now you ask yourself, uh, 
if Loma is able to beat someone like Lukambe, yeah, he fought some good names as well, like coming out from the featherweight division and all that. It, it's a boxer that is experienced. And when you look at this Olympics, Olympics, he did great. He won a lot of goods. The only thing that he uh, the only uh, medal that he won was silver. He didn't win bronze. So if you have someone like this, you can't just say Lopez is going to walk over him. I think it will be a wrong judgment to it will be a wrong judgment for someone to see uh, Lopez is going to win the, the fight easy. Now I yes. tell you, Loma is going to surprise him. Now I have a change of mind. Loma will surprise him. I, I, I feel where you're coming from. You're trying to justify it, but I'll bring you back to it. Now, let's look at the bad blood, yeah? The bad blood, where it even started from, okay? Let's look at the state. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And there it is! He has done it! Teofimo Lopez delivering on everything he said he would! After you win the title against Comey, he comes up in the ring. What did you feel from him in that moment? Sorry for my language, but him. I was thinking about myself. That was my moment. You know, I told Bob himself, and Bob was grabbing me. You can't do this. We need this fight. Get him the f out of my stage. No, 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 no. Get him the f out of my stage. We need him. Please. This is my moment. I don't need him to be up here. Please. This is my moment. I don't need him to be up here. When um, Lopez uh, knocked Richie Comey out, Barbaro Master Promoter came into the ring to do his promoting job. It was to get, make, get the two of them stand together to take a picture to help with the commercials and everything. But of course, it was, Lopez was not up for that uh, friendly, you know, catch to go like, okay, I'm ready, let's take a picture and all that. He said, get the up my wife. Get him off my stage. <laughs> For somebody to say the F off of my stage because he doesn't want to even see him. Just see him. <laughs> and the person who is promoting you to make sure that you get a box in your pocket. Look at how he was even talking. Where is the bad blood coming from? And all these things uh, uh, Lomachenko was saying, he wasn't even uh, sorry, he wasn't even caring that the camera was watching them. You could see that the mm. hate is really good. Looking at the grud and everything, what kind of fight do you expect or are you expecting to see on um, Saturday night? What exactly has Loma done that has made Lopez have all this, I mean, hatred for, 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 for him? For maybe, like, maybe I'm lacking, but I, think I see it as strong hate. I mean, where is it coming from? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Kobe. In mm. fact, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Mm. But we have to go back and read mm. some history. Right. I'm thinking like maybe they meet in the Olympics ground before mm. or something. I don't right. understand. Yeah, maybe they meet in Olympics ground before or something happened along the line. I don't mm. understand because. Since this guy came up, Loma, uh, 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 Teofimo came up, started talking about Lomachenko. Right. It's not today. Oh. It's not today. No, it's not today. It's not today. Uh, even before Teofimo will fight Komi, he never talked right. about Komi. He, he, he never he, talked about Komi. Uh, no, he was talking about Lomachenko, Lomachenko, Lomachenko. And Lomachenko came out and said, that, hey, you, you don't have title, so why should I fight you? Mm. Go and get title. And then, <laughs> as Kometu was with uh, uh, Kometu is in the same camp, the fight was easy, easily, it was easy to happen. Right. Okay, Teofimo, that is his fighting style. Okay, Teofimo is a very good boxer. If you talk about skills, he has the skills. The only thing that Teofimo do in Boxing in the ring that I don't like about Teofimo, but that guy is very good. He has the punching power. He has skills, almost everything, and he's young and very big. You understand? So me, I don't see uh, Lomachenko winning this fight. Of right. all that Lomachenko did already in boxing, if Lomachenko win this fight, I will give him 
fifty percent more light. Wow! I try to understand. Yeah, I try to understand what I'm saying. Wow. I never see Lomachenko. I never see Lomachenko winning this fight. And Lomachenko cannot come into the ring. The mistake Lomachenko will do is to come into the ring and think of banging. Like he'll be split into two. Okay? <laughs> Lomachenko cannot come into the ring and stand and say that Let, let's bang. He can't do that. <laughs> if you look at the fight, that is denomination fight for uh, uh, Teofimo was Nakatani fight. And yeah. people were saying that uh, Teofimo was exposed. But if you watch that fight very well, Teofimo came out with the excuse that Lomachenko, uh, 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 Tankatani was very tall and had a very long reach. But if you look into the fight very well, he beat Nakatani from round 1 to round 12. Okay, he beat him from round 1 to round 12. But to knock him out was the problem that people were asked. How come? Proud to uh, Richard Comey's fight. You understand? Right. If you watch, if you watch uh, 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 Lomachenko's fight, Lomachenko's last fight was Campbell. Campbell he received right. he received more punches in Campbell's fight. Right. The same Lomachenko fall against Linares. Right. You understand? And later on, he knocked Linares out. Knocking out Linares is not is nothing in boxing. Mm. So whoever knocked out Linares is nothing in boxing. Linares is the only boxer, only champion who got knocked out more than any boxer. Not even American, you understand. So if you knock out Linares, you didn't you didn't do anything in boxing. But you fall down against Linares, okay? You fall down against Linares, and then you went into to your, uh, you went into uh, Cam, uh, Campbell's fight, and then you receive more punches. You are not able to knock him. And this guy is coming out with fire, fire, fire. You understand? In fact. I never see Lomachenko winning this fight. But if boxing tell me or boxing happen that Lomachenko win this fight, I would like Lomachenko over fifty percent than before. Interesting. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I it. So now let's go back. Of course, we just watched the last fight of um, Tufuma Lopez, which was the fight against uh, uh, Omechi Kome. He was uh, amazing in a very Lomachenko style. You know, sorry, a very uh, Lopez uh, knocking him out and then to take the IBF world title from you. Now, let's go back to your in the last fight of uh, uh, Vasily Lomachenko. This. Oh, you see the long frame. Real good balance from Campbell. Nice There's left a left hand, right hand there. from Luke Campbell. Oh, he snaps his head back. Body shot mm. from Lomachenko, but somebody with even what he's doing just with his mm. footwork, even if he doesn't. He was some very close round. Mm. Short left is. hand on the inside. Then he goes to the belt line. Now he closes the gap, goes to the body. Campbell in trouble for a moment. Lomachenko knows it. End of the round coming, and the champs on the attack. You say that to me. I just see it. You know, look at his demeanor. You know, stepping back. I know he's fine. Everybody of his goal that he wants to be. At distance. Anytime Loma gets close. Ooh, he hurt him with that shot. So he catches him coming in here in round number seven. Isn't it? Luke is believing. He's doing the right thing. Right by going to the from Lomachenko. Luke is believing right now. But Lomachenko just came back with a body shot. And now he's got Campbell against the ropes. He got caught coming in. Uppercut comes in. Left uppercut from Lomachenko. Ward, our race reporter Bernardo Osuna and Mark Green. away. Like that. Shot after shot. Most of that block that worked to the body and then digging to the body on the inside was Campbell. Whether it's to the head of the body, you had the opportunity to quit. Short left hand from Body shot hurt Campbell. And there he goes. Lomachenko knows it as he closes that gap as soon as he lands that punch. And then touches him two times with the right hand to the body. Goes right back to it. Tries to split the guard with an uppercut on the inside. There's a great body shot. And it scores the knockdown. Lomachenko. 50 seconds to work. Lomachenko trying to close the show here in round number 11. Yeah. And now to the body goes Campbell, and in doing so, getting in in tight space, he takes two punches to the head. Then a body shot comes in, a short right hand, an uppercut from Lomachenko, and Campbell's in trouble, and he wrestles. 
Charlie, when you're taking the point, you go there. Hello, Charlie. No, he's a Charlie, what's he? No, he's a So, yeah, of course, uh, Lomachenko's video is longer because uh, this fight against the number, we have to win it by a uh, unanimous Now, the way the fight went, so what? At times that um, Campbell shot up, Pontus got to Loma. He was a his legs, you know, shaking a little bit, going back and everything. People felt or thought that he was even going to fall, but some way, somehow, he was able to struggle through it and then get back onto his feet. And then, um, you know, now, I'm talking about... Uh, okay, can you speak a bit louder? <clears throat> can you hear me now? <clears throat> can you hear me now? I can hear you a bit. It's like you are going back from your mic, in a way. Oh, then sorry, 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 Hello, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, is it okay now, um, Soa? Can you hear me from your side? So, uh, can you hear me? Uh, I think you're listening, you're listening so well there. But, um, I mean, I don't know, like I was saying, right? Looking at looking at the punches, of course, we all agree that these two guys are than, than the other. Do you think that if Lomachenko or uh, Lopez punches him like the way um, uh, Campbell's punch got to... Um, uh, Kofi, in this fight, eh, mm. uh, if I get the chance, I can mm. put the lead down mm. for the fight from round one to round okay. 12. But yeah. I don't have that chance now. But the, <laughs> whole, the things that I will say is, yeah, what I will say is, this fight it depends on Lomachenko. Number one, boxing experience, uh, ring, uh, 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 what uh, uh, boxing experience, right? Ring generalship, mm -hmm. and the footwork. Mm -hmm. These three things: Lomachenko's boxing experience, Lomachenko's ring generalship, and then Lomachenko's footwork. That would be the de de determination of the fight. Right. If Lomachenko come in. And then mm -hmm. give respect to this boy, okay? Mm -hmm. Give respect to Teofimo, okay? Mm -hmm. Fight around him. Use his footwork more, okay? Boxing IQ more, okay? He, that will be the, de uh, the, the, the determination of the fight. Okay. But when he come and disrespect this boy, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, put the boxing experience aside. Yeah. Okay. Coming to fight, coming to attack. Yeah. He will not get it easy. Yes. Okay. He should come in with that full of respect and then let the fight go on. And then he will wait on uh, 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 unanimous uh, uh, on, on point decision. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, so uh, I was asking that. I mean, do you think uh, uh, could get the material could be knocked out? Power of his punches will be able to get him knocked out. Can you hear me, Soa? I don't. I don't. Th I don't think. I don't think we are reaching him. But le now let's go forward. I mean, uh, um, these two guys have built themselves, or they will have the fight themselves. Believe me or not. Uh, especially Lomachenko, uh, Lopez, he's he's been talking in a such in such a way that has, uh, I, I mean, as a mass, or drawn a lot of people's attention to the fact that something really big is happening. Of course, we even, we are even hearing that uh, maybe uh, Top Rank would even allow some fans to even go watch this fight live at the the bubble, uh, which will also be another great boost to the fact that of course boxing is returning, but it's returning gradually. In it. And also the fans are also getting the opportunity to go watch their their their, their, their stars or their icons. Now, what do you see 
if Lomachenko wins, if that is if Lomachenko wins on Saturday night, what do you see happening in the lightweight division? Do you see? Do you think we are going to see him fight some of the top dogs, or it is not going to happen? What, what do you see? I, I want to. I want to know what do you see if Lomachenko wins. Uh, Lomachenko, if Lomachenko win this fight, yeah, okay, mm. he will not wait to fight in uh, 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 this thing to fight in uh, 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 one thirty fight again, thirty fight again. Okay, yes, because Lomachenko himself sensed the danger there already, and he oh, okay. told people that he want to come down to. Uh, 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 lightweight to come and compete over there. He said it already. For featherweight, you mean? Yeah, come to uh, 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 super featherweight okay. to come and compete there. Yeah, he said it already. It's because of those young guys over there. That is why Lomachenko said that. And if you watch very well, you get to some point. Lomachenko is finding things very difficult in the uh, in the lightweight division. Right. Okay. The fight he let, let his last. Three or so fight is no, he didn't. See, he himself didn't see that Lomachenko in the ring. Right. So he pointed out that he wants to come down, mm. but with the plan of Bobaru, this guy wanted to be the next undisputed champion in lightweight, and that is right. what they are following. Yeah, right. that is why he's still there. If you win this fight, eh, maybe the way he might win might give him change of mind and he might continue to fight some other guys over there but i believe if he win this fight he, he will still drop down to super featherweight to compete there because his size is not helping him at where he is as he grew up that he, he put up weight he wasn't like that matrix wasn't there that footwork speed footwork is not there that no nobody is seeing that thing in him again and he's been getting more heat He's been he's 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 he's, he's been collected more punches than before, so he himself saw it. People saw it, and then he made arrangement that he will be coming down. But just he want to get at this thing. That is why. So this fight, Bobarun Han is tied at the back. That is why this fight is coming on. Like this fight will not come on. Uh, um. Uh, so uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me this time? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, all right. So, of course, Amadeo um, uh, is saying what he thinks if Lomachenko wins the fight this weekend. Now, to you, what do you think is going to happen on Saturday night? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, for me, I think Loma is going to surprise Lopez. Loma is going I understand. To be That's why I'm twisting the question for you. If Lopez wins... This, this Saturday, what do you think is going to happen? Do, do you see him unifying or you see him moving up in weight? Because he's, he's, he's one of the guys that complained about struggling to make weight and all that. What do you, for you, what do you think is going to happen for him if he's able to uh, um, secure victory on uh, Saturday night? If Lopez wins this Saturday night? Yes, Lopez. That's yeah. you. If, if, Lopez, if Lopez wins, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be sweet for the division because um, I know Lopez, Lopez, who's uh, we should call me a rich a rematch mm. because um, we, he, he likes he likes rich, uh, which come so much and um, he has a lot of respect for which it me. So if he wins, I know it will definitely give Richard a fight. That's mm. before he fights big names like uh, maybe Ryan Garcia or um, the Vienni or the big names, or he might even fight one of the big names, but it will definitely give Richard Comey a rematch mm. now. If if he wins this fight uh, this Saturday too, it means that the 135 is going to be so sweet. It's going to be the division of boxing men because if the first win, it's going to it's going to it's going to it's going to fight all the boys at the 135. All the young boys at 135. Mm. It will become mandatory for him to fight them. Nothing is going to stop him from fighting them because he's a young man. He's a young man himself, and he's a kind of person that wants big fight. He wants to make a name. Because if uh, uh, some time now has been having problems with Loma for Loma being the king of the division. So it will be it will be an opportunity for him to prove himself by fighting the other young guys like Tank and the, the Viennese and the Ryan Garcias and the uh, other names you have there. Right, right, right. 
Now let's look at this tape. This will be our final, like, our final tape for the, for the day, and then we'll, I'll take a prediction, and then you, you tell us some of the technical things you think each boxers or each boxer or the boxer should to, to, to will go into the ring with, and how you expecting the night to to, 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 to be. We're gonna expose Loma. What are you doing? It's not intelligent. We're going to war. I will put all my skill on the table. I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna let you feel me. It's not working with me. You ain't nothing but to me. Man. Man. The build up to this fight, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna make you feel this. You know, when I look <laughs> the, the trend. The build up to this fight, yeah. When I look at the way wow. uh, the best uh, <laughs> is talking, man, <laughs> I can have some more things here. Like, <laughs> we'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be, first of all, uh, what, what I'll say about uh, Lopez is he's a young man, he doesn't even understand the sports of boxing. Mm. I'll tell you, <laughs> honestly, if, if you are going to fight, if you are going to fight someone who is well experienced, like Loma. And you are talking so much, you want to bring your heart into the fight. It will beat you with techniques. It will beat you with things. And that's what I'm seeing from this fight. That's the technical thing I'm seeing from this fight. It's going to beat him with skills. Because, you see, when you miss someone so much and you go into a fight, you will definitely lose. Because Lopez is not coming to box. Lopez is coming to throw power punches. And you saw what, what, um, what Loma did with um, Campbell. Even with that, he took punishment. And bear in mind, Loma is not coming to this fight like he fought with uh, Campbell, like he fought with other guys. He's coming into this fight um, with with much experience and um, with uh, things he knows he can do to avoid a knockout. Because oh. definitely everybody knows Lopez is coming for a knockout. And we are in the street science of boxing. If, uh, if uh, Loma is in my corner, he will never be knocked out. When I know his opponent is coming for a knockout. When I know what his opponent, the only thing his opponent can do is a knockout. If it's in my corner, he's, not going to, he's never going to be knocked down. But if, he, if you want to prevent a knockout from uh, from Lopez, you just have to frustrate him. Already, he sounds frustrating. Mm. You get me? It's my boy. When he, when he beat Komi, I was really proud of him. And it was it was someone I was looking at. But you see, in, in boxing today, you don't bring this kind of mindset. Mm. It's going to they will beat him. Loma Loma is going to beat him. Okay, Loma now, is going to beat him more convincingly. And Kofi, next week we will come here and you tell me my predictions is what exactly happened. Because okay. Kofi, is it Lopez? Who, 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 who asked Lopez for? Lopez for Richard Comey. Yeah. And you can you and I know Richard Comey doesn't come for the suicide of boxing. Richard Comey, a lot of good box to beat him. Because mm-hmm. What Kami does is he throw he will throw big shot two hours at twelve rounds. But, That's but what uh, he, he's very accurate with his with his knockouts. Like uh, he, who, he, uh, who, uh, Lopez. Lopez, yeah. He's, if you look Kofi, at let me ask you, Kofi, <laughs> let me ask you, who did Lopez fought? Which know, big boss did Lopez fought? <laughs> like you know, say Nakatani is not a small name that he fought to. Nakatani. <laughs> who? Fought, no, no, uh, you know, it's for it's, it's for it's for a couple of guys that like many even if fought again, even William Silver, it wasn't as a, that he's the only person who has been able to give William Silver a lose after 25 fights. So you should know that and he also fought uh basically I think uh, Kobe, that has to be for 34 points and it's lost. Kobe, Kobe, I, I, I would have been happier if you mentioned the name like maybe he has been able to fight a boxer, uh, a boxer like Debiani, a boxer like uh, Ryan Garcia. People that are more ambitious, people that want to do something, uh, want to do something. Guys, to be sincere, because these are also guys that are threats, have, have built their career to a certain level. Exactly. Threats before. Yeah, yeah. There are certain boxers that have not even won a world title, but the way they plan, the way they want to achieve things in boxing, you see them as people that uh, you see them as world champion. And a typical example is Ryan Garcia. 
A typical example is the Before he even got this world title through email, you could see this is the kind of guy that is angry to win something. This is the kind of people we are talking about. With it community, which is coming to win the IBF title, I don't see it as a big achievement. Because, you know, when after the fight, uh, you, know, you know what Richard committed? Richard committed, he went in for a big punch, and Lopez too came for a big punch. Richard coming wasn't blocking. Yeah, he, he, was, he was left exposed. Good. And you are talking about Lomachenko. Lomachenko is someone who comes from the size of boxing. Do you know, do you know, you know the Ukrainian boxers, you know how they fight. Mm. These, these are people, Ukrainian boxers are just like the Russians. These are people that don't talk much, but when they catch you, they read. When they catch you, they, that is when they will punish you. Okay. They, will, they will let you under, they, will, they will let you feel beatings. And with what Lopez is doing and all that, I'm telling you, if he doesn't take care, he's going to take a knockout. But if 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 if, if Loma doesn't knock him out around round six, then it's going to go for um, a unanimous decision. He will beat he will beat Lopez like a common a common distance, uh, a common boxer, a boxer who has no who has no skills or any any anything. Okay, I mean, let me come to you. I mean, you saw what Lopez said. He says. I'm not going to make him feel it. That's what he said. Uh, also, uh, look, uh, Lomachenko also said that uh, he had uh, someone doesn't know what he's saying, right? You can see that both, both, both boxers are very confident. And also, after watching the press conference, look at the way he's sharing uh, Lopez. Adrenaline rushing through his head, just waiting for Saturday night to come out in the nomination. Like, for you, from looking at technically, what do you think both comes to come into the ring with, and who do you think will come out victorious after talking strategy? And you think that uh, after talking about the strategy, you think they're going to come in the ring with, and who you think um, the night will favor if his techniques work for him or her? Sorry, works for him on the day. Uh, <laughs> this fight, eh? this fight, <laughs> this fight is not just, it's not just fight. It's not boxing. So, <laughs> different, different things attached to this fight, I'm telling you. Like to kick someone. Yeah, different, different things. Different, different things attached to this fight. Okay. <laughs> Do you know that if it's not Teofimo that win the IBF? <laughs> Do you know that like this fight come or, uh, happen already? Oh, yeah. If it is not Teofimo, like it's Richard Kome, who is still having the title for uh, Lomachenko to face, like this fight happened already. True, true, true. I'm telling you, like this fight happened already. The mm -hmm. time, uh, 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 what's the name? Uh, uh, Richard Kome won the vacated title. Okay. Mm -hmm. Immediately, Lomachenko threw in a uh, 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 challenge, said that he wants to fight uh, 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 Richard Kome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And that's the reason why that's the reason why he don't want to face the Vihani. Mm. Okay. But after the title switch hand to uh, to uh, uh, Teofimo to, uh, to Teofimo Lopez for the fight to be signed become a problem. Okay. For the fight to be signed become a problem. For very long time, and then COVID also came in, and then delay everything. Okay, yes. Teofimo uh, Lomachenko is sensing danger ahead there. Okay, right. yes. But how can he come into the ring, or how can this fight started and then end? That is all I said already. That it depends on uh, 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 Lomachenko, right. but Lomachenko. He have nowhere to run. That is what will happen in the ring. He have Lomachenko have nowhere to run. Do you know why? Teofimo number one. <laughs> Teofimo number one. The energy is there. Uh huh. Okay. The energy is there. The power is there. Right. And then this guy started talking about this fight for a long time. So if the chance come, will you blow it off? That no, is another you... thing you should ask yourself. Right. You get it. You get right. it. So he's going to bully Lomachenko from round one. 
to knock him out. He's going to bully him. Because Teofimo, don't think that Teofimo is nobody. Who, he have footwork. Right. Teofimo have footwork. He have hand speed. He have the power. In fact, the experience is something that I may say is a very low against Lomachenko. Mm. But look at this boy. Teofimo. Teofimo, eh? Teofimo was voted as prospect mm -hmm. in boxing. Young prospect in boxing. And that when he came out, people were saying that ah, the way they were expecting him, he could have come very faster than this. Mm. So how fast did those people want him to come? Ask yourself that question. How fast did they want him to come? That means what they saw before was, was serious than what they are seeing now. Right. Okay, he was voted the best prospect. Me, I am not the one. He was voted best prospect. It's not me. I didn't take. I didn't partake in that that voting. Okay, so if that guy is there now, very strong. Okay, very strong. <laughs> Willing to that he wanted to be this guy already. Already. Okay. Yeah. If you are saying they voted, they voted for him. Eh? Mm. He was fighting, probably yeah. was fighting some um, some boxers that were not even up to that kind of level. So he was just beating that, them. No, no, no. If that is what he's that. fighting, nobody will vote okay. for him. Those who vote for no, him, no, 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 but, that is but, why they vote but, for but, him. Wait, 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 those wait, are the wait, people wait. that he was fighting. Just, nobody will vote for him. I mean, no, 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 no. You made, you, made, you made a second comment that the people that voted for him complain on how he's fighting now. But they thought he might uh, he should have gone far. And he's not going far. So she tell you right now he's meeting he's meeting boxers that won't give him that uh will give him that uh, easy easy fight. Somebody who blow who, somebody who blow is coming fast like that. Do you know people that don't come fast? You and I know you 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 and I know which is coming which is coming in the good boxer will beat him any day. Any, who, told, any, who, any, who told you that? No, who told you Richard that? Comey. How many people did Richard, Richard come? Do you know Richard Comey's uh, uh, record? Do you know Richard Comey's see, record? See, How many? See, see. Okay, so guys, um, if I leave these two guys, they'll go very hard at each other because, you know, it's not easy. This is a total boxing show where you cannot predict what's going to happen next because, of course, everybody believes uh -huh. that uh -huh. the person you're talking about, I don't know what you want to take to me. Even us boxing fans can see that it is not even easy. So you can imagine what's going to happen on Saturday night. Guys, don't sleep on Saturday night. It's going to be a very big show. Hopefully, for the first time, maybe fans will be allowed to go with the fight. It will be a very big Before you guys go, before you go, um, so what? Who do you think is going to win the day? Who Loma 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 is going to win the day? Loma is going to beat the best. Say that again, because I didn't hear you. Say that again, so that I can do. Is it going to be twelve rounds? Or is it going to be Ah, Kofi. Uh, Loma will drop the best twice. The best will drop him one. And Loma is going to end up winning by unanimous decision. Kofi, I want you to mark it. Okay. Loma okay. is going to drop Lopez twice. Okay. Lopez will drop him one. But okay. Loma will end up winning the fight through unanimous decision. Now, let me come to the next night. The two main guys who are going to go in the fight give us that. Who do you think will come up to Sunday night? Saturday night fight, okay. Uh, what I'm seeing is uh -huh. Lomachenko is going to be embarrassed. Lomachenko is going to be embarrassed. This fight for Lomachenko to be knocked out is about 90%. Okay. Okay. For Lumashenko to get knocked out, it's about 90%. And then for him to get the unanimous decision, for Lumashenko to get unanimous decision in this fight, it's about 35%. So Lumashenko have no he have nothing to he have nothing to do in this fight. Okay, okay. I know uh, that's the matrix you know, not work this time. So, so the matrix 
will not work. <laughs> it is going to be uh, uh, a Lopez win. Lopez win. And then even on point, Lopez win. <laughs> so, so I, yeah, I tell you, well, even on point. So, even on point, it's going to still be a Lopez. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Oh, it's the, I'm, I'm telling you. Even on point. Let me let, let me relate it to something. Yeah, let me relate it to, to, to something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. last 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 Saturday, uh, 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 this guy fought. What's the name? Navarrete fought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know that if it's not because of the uh, 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 that rabbit punches, like Navarrete lose that fight? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's because Ruben, of rabbit. Ruby don't have the punch. Mm. Like Navarrete will lose that that fight. I'm telling you. But if you don't, if you don't believe, take it from this angle. Uh, Ruby, for, that is eight ten, eight ten. You understand? Yes. Yeah. But after they finish the fight, the difference in the points are about three three points different. Right. That won the fight for uh, uh, for uh, uh. so like he's wearing he got, had a good punch, strong punch, wearing uh, 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 Navarrete down. Like Navarrete will lose this fight. I'm telling you. So that is what will happen in this fight. I want to tell Medo that you should, the way he pay, the way he believes that uh, Lopez is going to win the fight, next week when we come here, he should, he should speak like the way he's speaking. He shouldn't, he shouldn't come and go like, oh, and Bobarum did this, and Lopez, Lopez had an injury, and he didn't disclose it, he didn't disclose it to the team. Lopez, that's what you know, he shouldn't give a speech. Because no, I'm after, not after the fight, after the, the fight finish, I should still stand on where I'm standing. How can I stand there? <laughs> After the fight finish, I can't yes. stand there. What, what I want I you to stand there. After, after, <laughs> after losing, stand there. Don't come and change your mind. Oh. <laughs> no, no. How can I say, you will you stand there? If it's you, will you stand there? After oh, the fight finish, what, what, what do I have doing there? <laughs> no. Uh, you, if it, uh, if you don't know what you're supporting the fight, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you, I'm telling you what I'm saying. Mm, mm, what mm. exactly this, this is this is what I also saw from the beginning, but what I'm looking at now is Different. that experience thing. Me, I was supporting I was suspect uh, I was supporting uh, Lopez in the beginning. You all know I was saying Lopez was going to win by a knockout. Yeah. But Kofi, when you look at the game plan of Loma, and when you look at the way Loma is training um to this fight. It tells you Loma is coming, he's not coming to come and throw that rabbit punches. Like, like I mean, that is saying, Navarrete could have lost that fight if if uh, Ruben was throwing bigger, bigger punches. And this is what Loma is working on. Loma has a footwear. The metrics is going to work. And apart from the metrics, the other thing that is going to work is that power. So if Loma ends up throwing, throwing about, um, about 30, 30 punches, and all these 30, 30 punches is going to the body of Lopez, it's going to wear him down because these are power punches, and it's the same. This is the same prediction I made. I made for the Wilder, Wilder, and this thing, Wilder and Fury fight. Mm. I told my people Fury was going to uh, Fury is going to knock uh, Wilder out. They were like, "Oh no, that's not going to happen." Wilder rather knock Fury out. But you see, when you look at the boxer and you see the kind of training, like the camping, you see what they are doing. The camp, you can easily tell that this is what he's going to do in the fight. And I tell you, this fight, you will see the punches. Lomachenko, that old man. Lomachenko that you perceive as, a old, as an old man. You see the punches you will throw you. Lopez. Lopez is a small word. You will feel it wrong. I take the care of it wrong. Guys, you guys have to have a small and put it on the It's never a normal moment when you guys meet you. I mean, it's not quite a educative. I mean, of course, it's our opinions, and we've always welcomed uh, that's our opinion, that's our uh, uh, conversation. And of course, uh, you, are, you have one coming from uh, Chronic Session Junior, who's saying, Mr. Dodo, you have to stand there. He said, You have to stand there. You have to stand there. How? No, how? How? How, how is it going to happen? <laughs> yeah, like who, who love to be at the losing side?
Nobody loves the losing side. So me, if I lose, I will not stand there. Lopez should come and look at you. Lopez, he should come and look at you. Okay. You think I said, you will see it. You will see something. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I want to say very big thank you for uh, tuning, uh, making time to watch us. Um, of course, um, we are streaming live on Facebook, on Twitter, and also on YouTube. Um, please, if you are watching us on Facebook and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we want to please say that um, after this show, can you just hop onto YouTube, type Cables TV, just like you see on Facebook, KBOX TV, and subscribe to our YouTube as well. We want to get bigger and be better with you. And of course, uh, we always want to welcome your uh, your opinions. So anytime that we are on the show, even after it's, it's ended, feel free to send it to us because we'll read it and we'll definitely react to it and let you know how we also feel about what you're saying. Maybe, guys, maybe... When a fight is said and done on Saturday night, and you guys are still have you guys still have some energy to still talk, just for the momentum to keep it going, maybe we will come live and then let us have our opinion. Whether some people will still stand there or they will change their mind. Just to keep the momentum going, Saturday or latest by Sunday, we will come back again and have this conversation and see how. How the fights went. Of course, we are expecting a very good show. Uh, these two fighters have talked a lot, uh, especially to Femo Lopez. And one has been very calm and has shown us what he has done. He could he could do from his uh, amateur days, winning two uh, to go two times, and also uh, becoming uh, 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 a three uh, three division. Oh, sorry, um, how do you call it? Uh, a unified mm. unified world champion. So of course, it's, it's a fight that we are we are all looking. Um, Eagerly waiting to see what's going to happen. And one thing I'm even praying that this fight doesn't become a boring fight because sometimes they hype, a, they hype fights too much and then when it gets there, it, 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 it even changes. I just hope that this fight is not one of those fights that after all it has been said and done. <laughs> that was worth the hype. Guys, in Ghana, is there any news that you'd like to share? Puffy. Yes. Puffy. Yeah. Uh, that fight, the undercard. Yeah, the undercard. one guy there. Yeah, the undercard at Gabalanga. Right. Fourteen. Right. Yeah, fourteen fight, fourteen <laughs> knockout in the first round. Look right. for that guy. Right. So right. we have to watch that fight. That the that bill is very good bill. So we will watch that guy. Of course, we have uh, <laughs> Alex uh, Sacedo versus uh, Arnold uh, Barbosa Junior. We have Kevin yeah. Castaneda versus. Uh, Jose Vargas. We have Edgar Balenga versus uh, Lanel Bowers. We have uh, John Vicente Morales versus uh, Jose Enrique Durantes Vivas. We have Quatavios Cash versus Quincy Lavi La Valle La I hope I'm getting the name right. We have um, Juan Carlos uh, Rivera versus Quinton Randall. And then we have uh, Jackie Tuka versus Charles Ghana. Is it that one you're talking about? The Charles Ghana fight? Oh, no, Balanga. Balanga. Edgar, Edgar Balanga. Yeah. And of course, he's yes, a guy. There will be a super middle, super middle with, uh, versus uh, Lanao. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be, a, because he's, he's undefeated coming into the fight. Yeah. Already, 14 fights. And yeah. He, and he has a, an amazing uh, knockout ratio. Of course. Mm. Great, great, great guy. Great guy. Yeah. Yeah, very, very, very good guy. I think it's yeah. you know, you know, uh, when it's able to get to mm. the top. Uh, yeah, yeah. One of the, so let's, let's see how it goes. Of course, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on it and we'll be back here uh, to also discuss how everything works. Guys, thank you very much for making time to discuss. And of course, uh, uh, we, we finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. We finish. <laughs> Oh, but as I'm asking that, is there any news that you want us to, you would want to share with us? Of course, if there's any news, let us know and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah, the news is, uh, 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 in fact, we lay uh, Kome, mm -hmm. John Kome to rest right. this weekend. And everything right. was so nice. The boys came there, the amateur team, they did very well and things like that. And then the boy, the boys been laid to rest. Right. So we thank God for everything. Yeah, but... but I, I am so much disappointed, mm. very, very much disappointed. I wanted to even hide, mm. but somehow, anyway, 
Mm. I don't know what happened. Mm. Uh, I heard that uh, 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 Eagle, he's back. Yeah, yeah, the Eagle is back. The Eagle is Richard, back. <laughs> the Eagle is back. Eagle but is in back. fact, in fact, in fact, I don't know how he can make it again. So that is Let's all. Ten minutes to the Eagle fight. Uh, um, 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 uh, so, uh, what was the expectation? Sorry. Uh, we all, we were all, of course, our expectation was him to go win because, of course, we, we all knew that one man was going to win. <laughs> With uh, uh, sorry, with uh, Latte against Goma. Uh, Kofi with uh, La- La- Latte that uh, Latte didn't have that winning mentality. That's the first thing. Mm. Secondly, he wasn't focused on the fight. Mm. Third, I, is it, I saw one comment he was making that uh, uh, Frank Warren picked him up from the street and Frank Warren um, has made him what he is. And I saw him do that last thing. And Kofi, you see, when you go there, and Frank Warren didn't come to pick you up from the street. You went, and when you got there, Frank Warren only picked you because he knew you are coming to give a fight. So, already having that kind of mental, mental line, having that mindset that Frank Warren is uh, picking you up from the street and he's looking who you are, it's wrong. You are working. And so far as you work, you can even work to employ uh, Frank Warren. He went to the U uh, to the UK. He was so happy that he's in the UK. He has his own team and wasn't under cubic. You see, a lot of things. Latte Latte did a lot of things wrong. And after that, when he lost the fight, if after losing this fight, instead of him being worried, he was not worried. Though. He was happily taking pictures with Goma. He was trying to get Goma to take pictures with him and post it. And when I saw that, uh, I was sad. I was like, really? This is a guy that we were betting here, making a lot of noise, oh, oh. fighting for him. And look at what he's doing up there. After losing the fight, you were so interested in taking a picture with Goma. Who is Goma? Goma is just like you. Goma hasn't won any title, nothing. Goma is just like you. So, like, you should have even show something that, oh, you want a rematch. Things didn't go on well for you. You could have even protested. I pick the microphone and tell the fans that you gave a good fight to the one, but with Goma, this and this is what happened. He didn't do anything. He was just happy that he fought. He has been able to fight in the UK for the second time. And if if, if the Ghanaian boxers and the African boxers are watching this show, they must learn. You have to be a good getter. Don't go to the US and be taking pictures. I mean, ah, you <laughs> taking pictures there. Is pictures just going to put money in your pocket? Will these pictures bring you opportunities? Once you have a skill to prove yourself. Right. And he fought poorly. Like, I was taught. You see, with government's condition, how government came into the fight, this fight should have been, like, uh, Latte should have finished the fight within two rounds. Mm. He should have finished the fight within two rounds. Because all the white people, when I was watching the I was watching the fight and going to the comment, all the white people, they were they were bashing government. They were like, government is not even fit to be in the ring. And if this guy wasn't fit to be in the ring and he boxed you 12, uh, he boxed you to about 10 rounds or 11 rounds, it doesn't, like, it doesn't make sense. It's a disgrace to ask um, the boxing fans in, in Ghana and Africa. How, how can you go and disgrace yourself like this? I better do that. Uh, I was very excited for uh, Richard Latte when he got the opportunity because the first time, first one, he didn't land in two. He didn't land in um, UK on time. When he went, the next day, he was weighing and then straight he was into the fight. So his body or the weather, his body hasn't really, what, what, so that fight wasn't really <coughs> with the weather, right? But that's one of the things that and then we had Great and Goma. Of course, both of them have lost to one promising star that we felt like is a, a win against Du Bois. Who, uh, sorry, uh, with uh, Goma might set the rematch up against Du uh, Bois. So just was it that he wants to fight Du Bois okay, during the first so we uh, for our rich Latin to come from Europe. Everything is wrong. Uh, everything is wrong with him. Everything. Everything is wrong. First of all, he has fear in himself. Fear is the number one. He has fear in himself. 
Number two, his boxing skills is very poor. Very, very poor. No, he 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 was fighting in the ring as if somebody that they saw at the roadside, like he how he is saying that uh, uh, Frank Warren took him from the road. Which road? No, which which road is he talking about? Latema <laughs> Road or which which road which road is he talking about? And, I, and I'm surprised when he came out with that comment, he took me from street. Which street? Somebody who was in Black Bombers, Black Bombers team. Eh? Latte was in Black Bombers team, being coached by a, 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 a Cuban. Okay, in Ghana yeah. here, and you are mm. saying that they took you from street. Frank Warren know you. When did Frank Warren know you? Okay, very poor in the ring. I see somebody that Frank Warren took from the street to and put him in the ring. I, 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 maybe that is what he's referring to. Oh no, no, I think that is what Latte was referring to. Uh, because he didn't do anything. Everybody is disappointed in him. He himself is disappointed in himself. The the show that he put up that day. I don't, I don't know. I, no plan, nothing. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I decided not to talk about the fight because I mean, I had a lot of expectations. Of course, I even tested him. He was going back to that home. He was very much to me. He was like, okay, he's going to make it happen. So I had hopes, you know, because of course, uh, Duke Marcus lost, um, like kind of dampened Daniel's spirit, right? Of course, many people didn't follow like that fight as much because it wasn't like a world title fight. But we, who are in Ghana, we, we we follow it with passion because no matter what, we know that somebody might definitely come home and bring make us proud and will lift the the, wow. the, the issue of boxing again. And looking at Gorman, Gorman was out of the ring for like I think more than a year, just just like the like has been. and. He was he was just becoming fat and becoming bigger and yeah. you know African man Ghanaian. In fact, we don't have a lot of heavyweights, so the few heavyweights that we have, we really cherish them well. We, we, we yeah. really many of them, and and they, and you can see them train so. So when the fight was happening, I was on Twitter. Checking on Twitter, watching the fight at the same time, and the comments that the people after round three, people were like, "They are not sure that is twenty eight years old." <laughs> Looking at it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you guys were, if you guys really had time to go check on the comments that were coming, <laughs> I don't feel Latin him who even want to even step into the ring again because these people they were hyping him. Even the commentators, yeah. If you, if you guys listen very. Um, Clearly, from round one to round three, they were all saying that they don't see how Goman was going to be because Latte was able to stand there toe to toe with uh, that boy in round three, which he almost got yeah. down. Um, it was a very dangerous, and we never saw anything. Of course, I can agree that the guys was backing, it was boxing off, off, off his back. But as a boxer with a strategy of and uh, knowing that you are in to knock somebody out, you definitely want to go in for the brow sometimes. Mm-hmm. Push to the last. And all I could hear is, "Male, it's all no." Like, oh, now I can say, "Me be an etole," because there was a time you could see the feet. Even like I'm saying, the commentators were saying that Goman was tired after round six. You see that it was yeah. trying to win the ring and all that. And we all saw like they're still attacking or going forward, right? So it means at least you have some kind of tanks or some gas in you to fool all yeah. you to go forward. But if you go, the jab, the double jab is not even going. It's not the double jab like one, two, right? Yeah. And then That's follow the up with the right. How far that is supposed to start the guys when it goes to the fast somewhere? I have never seen Latif fight like this before. I, I mean, <laughs> of course, and that also makes me give credit to Nathan Gorman because he had a plan until the fight. As soon as they realized that it wasn't working, 
that is why you have a coach. I was expecting the coach to. That, so me, I feel like it, it would have been better not to even go with the coach, and it, but he would have still made it to the end of the term <laughs> because when you didn't have the coach, you you were knocked out, right? Mm -hmm. And then you you told us that your coach, and this is not just a coach. This time he went to his coach, which is coach. I think psychologist. Is everybody uh -huh. six or four? Uh, everybody, you understand? So, and and when I call it, I saw the coach. I saw the guy at the back holding the water for them. You understand? So, this is this part. Become a journeyman. So definitely, you get the opportunity again. The, the reason I'm saying that is because for some reason the fans love him. For some reason, I don't know. For some reason, the fact that I mean to even go to the end of the round, uh, it, it just lets me know. At the same time, makes me feel like uh, he's one of the boxes that a cool you, a cool you, which names are you understand? And uh, and fans like people like that, so especially people who who can stand the test of times. And maybe if he gets the opportunity again. Of course, in our head, we feel like he's going to lose. But maybe this time, we'll see him go wrong. But coming to you, Amadou, do you think this coach did him good after looking at all these things that were going happening in the ring? Do you think the strategy that they, they went to the ring? And I started looking or watching for them, I thought that there was something missing. The commentators were saying that the coaches were now that you can't even think that they're even having a conversation. This is, this is, this is so disgracing. A big <laughs> They were saying that you, you, you could not hear. I, I listened to everything that the commentators were saying because these are guys who are closer to the action and you, they are feeling it, seeing it. And when the guy said that, when the, yeah. this was receiving, I was like, the guys are so loud that you even feel like they are having a conversation. It means, you don't come on, you don't come on, you don't come on, you don't come on, you don't come yeah. Because if you are having a conversation, yeah. it means our focus is not on the guy who is even in the ring. I know that. Yeah. What can we bounce back? Or do you think even think he's going to bounce back? Uh, uh, Latte himself have a mm. problem. Yeah, Latte himself have a problem. That problem is the fear in him. I thought that Latte that fear must come out from him at the time that he's going back again. But still, that fear is there. Okay? If you want the fire, you will see that, yeah, the, this guy have that fear, the, the problem of fear is in him. You see? And then number two, Latte, I think it's better he stay in US or UK to learn boxing from fundamental. That might also take fear from him. Mm. In Ghana here, Latte have the luxury, okay? He's not doing anything. He have the luxury because money is coming. So Latte mm -hmm. is not doing anything. And if he wants to still continue boxing, he should live here and go and stay in US, okay? Forget about everybody. Because I don't know, his corner, the coach, even in the gym, very poor, very, very poor. The coach is not doing anything. I don't know what I don't know what they teach him before he go into this fight. So mm. the coach, the, the, the gym zero, coach mm. zero, the corner zero. So if Latte want to continue boxing, please, Latte should stay in US or UK and then concentrate on boxing. He might bring you, something out. And, and, and do you think staying over there will even help? Because it is different from it is different from you going there. And want um, wanting or willing to do it, you understand? Because at the same time, it's the same US too that we are seeing Deontay Wilder, who is also a, a one punter. You understand? It is the same US. I understand. You, you understand? So yeah. maybe you should find a trainer who has given a real discipline. You see, uh -huh. you see with Latte, Latte is not organized. Because Latte was signed uh, this trainer, uh, Manny Rodos. Yeah. That's a Louis trainer. That trainer took a Louis to uh, Latte was able to beat him. 
Mm. It was it uh, Latte Latte was under his team. He was training. Latte was signed to Wait, yeah, he was signed to Manny Robos after fighting the Yeah. I don't know if you know that. He was signed yeah. to Manny Robos. Now ask yeah. yourself, what what happened? Because Manny Robos is one of the best coaches. He's a the Mexican. He's a very good coach. Yeah. And as, as, for as, Latte to be and then he said that he had to come now because he was trying to get ready to get in and his trainers to the US. The, to the UK to go fight because he was there when the opportunity came. We have to come back to Ghana, the team, and then organize them, and then they have to go. Of course, um, even though he's training with Rebels in the US, his team was preparing with him before he went. To the US didn't really so, like it was a holiday, and then he also went with uh, uh, as on holiday, he got the opportunity to also spy and train. With the people that we, we, we saw in the pictures. Uh, Gofi, so, like you last time said to the local, the Ghanaian boxers, that when they sign a contract with one person, they should try to stick with the other person. Because today, Latte is in Cubic, having problems with Cubic. Tomorrow, Manu Robo signed him. Tomorrow, he's doing a contract with uh, Queensberry Promotion, Frank Warren. Mm. So, yourself, you are not organized. Mm. And you are getting all the opportunities. So why don't you sit down, organize yourself? Because at the end of the day, when you, when you become a world champion, okay, the money is coming, you will make more of the money. So all these people around you are just people that... Oh, I think I think my brother... My, uh, brother okay. Yeah, so you must take a decision. Organize yeah. yourself. You shouldn't... See this opportunity, yeah. jump to it, jump to it. It, it becomes a disaster for him. To be sincere, heavyweight boxing has been in a great sh shambles in Ghana. The two heavyweight boxers that we, we thought that could, could take us to the to the promised land. Uh, I, I I don't know. Because I I sincerely thought like this time, this was like this time, like I've been we can won the fight I've been Uh, 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 that if you were Frank Warren, would you want to give uh, like another fight? No, I can't give you like this fight. <laughs> oh no, I can't give him fight. Oh no. <laughs> but Warren has a lot of talents, right? Yeah. One of this guy, I think one Nigerian. I've forgotten his name. Maybe they could pair him against him at a, at a point. If Latte, if Latte did not organize himself, he will not win yeah. any fight again. Yes, yeah, he will not win any fight with this kind of style. This kind of style. This kind of fear in you. No, he can't win fight. With, they don't win fight like this. No wonder he came back calling Buku Banku. If you fight with Banku, like the Banku will beat him. Banku will beat him some beating that you never forget. Exactly. Banku will beat him. Ah, ah, how can you? Banku beat him. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. The way I was like, oh, Latte got the chance. Stepping stone. This is what I'm saying from day one. Goman is a stepping stone for uh, uh, Latte, and you go and perform like this. This kind of performance. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> he, because he, was was Latte in again. he was calling the boy. He was calling the boy. The whole time. Look, 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 at, look at all this. Look at all this. Ah. Ah. Fact, no, 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 no. no. You, back, you back your, your people into a fight, expecting them to, you know, for anything. I mean, just for once, make you right. Somebody said, I, I think I was interviewed on one of the, I think radio guy or something, they called me asking me um, if he took the fight. Like, no, we live in a country where we don't even get big people. I think fight ready, I think uh, like, so, uh, like in terms of watches, box office. And, and ace power promotions. These are the people who have been giving us opportunities. And even these guys, you don't even get a chance to even give the boys water. You understand? Of course, you are global title. Or that, that title. And so these guys, we always told them to stay ready and we said that when the opportunity comes, they're able to grab it. Of course, looking at the names of uh, the big names in Ghana, these are, these are how they were able to make this this one plot uh, and even our own legend um Azuma Nelson. It was a chance. Of course, not the best fight, but the fight that he gave yeah. them. The first, the first, uh, you know that no, I have come. 
coming from yeah. science. So, of course, you can lose some fights, but the, the manner that you lose the fight and the, 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 the way you compose yourself, the way you fight, like, like for example, lost the fight. But if you go back and watch the fight, it's not a fight that you go like, oh, you guy, he did something like uh, exceptional in the fight. So let me give him the, uh, the opportunity. He just came there, uh, went through the rounds, and uh, went to. Yeah. 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 What a disease. I, all the round, I never saw anything special about anything that he did, like, unlike the boys' fight, where he was a particular round dedicated to him, where he was able to almost go to upstate. Okay, bye. Then we'll go inside uh, and then we went mm -hmm. down, right? like Chaplin. Bye. Then we wake up uh, right, uh, and then we went down, right? <laughs> I'm not a coach, but I can he was eating it all. His uh, first yeah. you put the <laughs> and then it took uh, Yeah, go inside. Oh. Still, I, I'm sure. I'm, I'm shocked how that. I, I, I don't know how is it happening. I don't even know. Jab, uh, go man through. It to it, it go through the guard. That's not the once. Eh? Not, uh, not, not, not one round. Not two rounds. All oh. the jabs going through the guard. How 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 does he have anything but jabbing like thing? Oh, the jab was very strong. So when he jabbed him, you could see him go. When I think around round six or around seven, yeah, Goma was going to the, 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 was going to sit down, and I could see some bruises on his rib. And I was like, that yeah. is it. I was expecting the corner to tell like that, like that. Oh, now can see if I'm going to. What can we have to do now? What is something? It wasn't like that. It was. It was like. It was, it was, it was, in fact, I, I I was here everything. It's on. Go out there, fight, and let the sponsor go. Like, no, Ali, I finish. Yeah. No, I do. Yeah. 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 Okay, yes. but if Latte will lose this fight, should Latte lose this fight on point 190? <laughs> two judges said that Latte did not win even one round. Two judges. Right. Two right. judges say Latte did not win even one round. Is it Goma who will beat you all the round? Goma will beat you all the rounds. No, what, what, what is that? No, 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 no. No. The poker that came out that I was watching was... The first round, it was 10 10. And then from the second round to the 10th round, it was 10 9 10 9 the whole uh -huh. time. Yeah. So I, uh -huh. I agree more. I mean, because I was like, yeah, this, uh -huh. I, I feel like it's a fair reflection of what has actually Oh, happened. yes. You know, so. Yes. I mean, the heavyweights, like I'm saying, the heavyweights in Ghana, I don't know. If it may, may, maybe, maybe some promoters should just wake up and then give the heavyweights in Ghana some sort of chance to fight with some of the fast and the skillful cruiserweights and see what yeah. I, of course <laughs> can see what they can play one or two with uh -huh. okay and the, and the trainers the trainers who are training some of these guys I don't know maybe maybe the local trainer who can help him move his head that's what that's what Latin is now. You need someone who can make him move his head and yeah. and not 
take all the jab that was coming in. Come on, we live in a country where we all hail the Shakoti for expressing that uh, his jab oh, that is God. impenetrable. You understand? So maybe he needs him to also help him uh, at Okwashi. If you go there, we can help you on how to protect yourself properly. And if he needs power, he can go uh, Coach Latin. Uh, uh, can help him build his power. We've yeah. seen what is uh, 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 Wasil Mohammed and then can go to can help him with it and everything. I don't know. For, for a, a, a boxer to get a chance like this, these are the places you need to go for them to help you finish. Even if you don't yeah. like them. Find a way of talking to them and let them help you because it is your life. Yeah. The moment, yeah. Yeah. You are not coming to. And how many boxers can people go and come and go like coach? Emo tenga na emo fisika. Yeah. Yeah. I think all the trainers really love the job that they are doing. That if you come to them and tell them, yeah, they will help you. Look at how they were all united when John Comey died. They all came there to show love. Yeah. Even if they have differences, yeah. they, they unite when the time is necessary and help you. The same way yeah. when. Yeah. Um, 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 this Kabik promotions boxer, uh, 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 Patrick Alote had a chance to fight um, mm. Mungai. Mungai, yeah. uh, Patrick, uh, sorry, was not in, was in, I think he was in Senegal. He was in Dakar with the team, the Black Bombers. Look at how yeah. Charles helped him. Even though it's not his, his boxer, at least he did his best to help him train yeah, him. He helped him. Um, he left. The same way. Yeah. You know that this Gorman is your one-time chance. I even for this fight was not even made for Gorman. I thought it was even made for Latte to come prove himself to get the strike. Exactly. The yeah. So you true, two both right. You should have also prepared yourself to go like no, it's check. This time I'm and this that's what I was telling them. There was this interview I was watching him. He said, Gorman, like the way he was talking, I was like, too much. Yeah, yeah. Too oh, much yeah. him. Too much. <laughs> anyway, I mean, one, of those, one of those things. One of those things. But so, 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 so for you, uh, 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 so uh, if you are a promoter in Ghana, another opportunity for him to rewrite his name and get him, like, get him some wins to be uh, to get back to, to uh, uh, the name or the place that you think he deserves. Uh, if if I was a promoter, first of all, I would like to work with go-getters because I'm from Africa. Africa, we don't have the opportunities. So if I'm doing all the work, putting up um, a nice platform for you, giving you the media and everything for you, for people to see what you can do, and you end up giving me this kind of fight, but I won't waste my time. Cause <laughs> oh, no, no, I won't give me a, I won't give me a fight again because, you see, we need go-getters. Because sometimes for a promoter to shine, you need a boxer. You saw at the end, at the end was able to shine because of um boxes. Right. The boxes that were angry, they wanted victory, they wanted to do something, they wanted to make money, and that's the only way a promoter can make his name. Mm -hmm. So it's like you are a product, and I want to promote you. I don't know that you did product that uh, maybe you are a rob or something. When people use it, it's not able to cure what the kind of pains or what the what uh, what the the reason why they bother they, they bother a particular product. So if I'm promoting it, it's like doing uh, doing doing the percentage of people who buy the product, the product will work for them. So I won't give you another opportunity. I rather go scout new boxes. Tell them when you come, you make a million dollar. Million dollar, do you know what it can do? I think that's the word they must be telling the boxes. Million yeah. dollar, you will buy a house at this yeah. You can buy a house at Oyarifa. You buy a nice car. You can invest some. You can buy treasure bills. You live a life for These are the kind of things you have to tell them. No going to the UK and fight and come back. And you have nothing. See the way Joshua Clotty is enjoying today. Let me come. The mindset of some boxes. Like, for instance, if not anything, we know the first fight against Du Bois. And uh, the, the fight was $50,000 uh, uh, pound. Of course, he didn't get the $50,000 pound. He got like somewhere yeah. around $1,000. Uh, and I'm sure that this fight, he earns around like the same $50,000. Of course, okay. uh, one of the terms that was agreed before he left Ghana was that. Uh, still, Kabik was going to take the 
take their fifteen percent, thirty percent. So if it's fifty thousand, I'm expecting like let's say somewhere around, you know, thirty-five there, yeah, thirty-five thousand pound will go into his his, his pocket. Yeah, his now, 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 look, look. Do you think it is a fair reflection of uh, a heavy a heavyweight boxer in Ghana? Do you think it is enough? Because this, this, I feel like this is the money that you take. I feel like okay, in the Chicago, New York, Charlie, we can lose grab. Wow, you think it's a fair reflection of what or what he's actually worth? <clears throat> I don't see it like that, but on some grounds, he might see it like that. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, he might see it like that, but I don't see it like that. That is why I say that if I have the chance to control him, mm. I will tell him to stay in UK or mm. US than to okay. come back to Ghana because in Ghana here he's not focused and he will not be focused. Mm. He's not focused and he will not be focused if he's in, he's in Ghana here. So if he's in Ghana here, like where he is and what is going on around there, that is what he will fall into. And that money is a huge money at where he is. Okay? And then, like, the kind of life that he's, he's in, it's a very big money for him. So it might cause him not to think about moving forward. You understand? Yeah, so if I get a chance, I will advise him to stay there Okay. Forget about Ghana and then stay there. He will even get a chance to get to fight with a, a strong, to spy, train yeah. with strong heavyweight boxers. Ghana here, we don't have heavyweight boxers. So if you go into the gym and then maybe those lightweight boxers are sparring with him, he feels maybe it is okay like that. Or that is how it is. That is why if Goma touch him, he's like, hey, like somebody they are using pin to choke uh, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Understand. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. Understand. Interesting, guys. This is this is this is a sport that you can earn as much as I mean, twenty million for fifty people. Yeah. But no and the rest of the guys earn it, and it, it depends on how you are able to do it, uh, market yourself, yeah. and get yourself to that kind of thing. And if the boxing fans want to see you, the money that you can take is endless. If I were, like, say, 50000 would have been a stepping stone. In the next fight, I would have gone in to go make $100,000. And I would be... <laughs> Guys, this is what time will come to test to say. I want to say very good thank you for always making time. And, of course, uh, the big fight this weekend is the fight that is, we've already spoken about. Uh, the fight that a lot of us can't wait to watch. And so, yeah, we are all hoping that... Uh, our, our individual prediction for us will go out be, be able to you know have fun so guys thank you for your time uh, very good uh, we'll be able to talk more right thank you thank you <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much yeah so guys fans we want to say a very big thank you for always also making time uh, like i said if you if you're not subscribed to our youtube kindly jump on the youtube side kbux and kbox tv and then subscribe to us of course, our studio is ready um, very, very soon. In two weeks' time, we'll be back. And, of course, the background and everything will change. We see a more improved. Guys, thank you. Thank you always, and thank you. Two hours, man, you guys are fantastic. I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, no, it's it for me. It's just words, and uh, 